Currently half four in the morning. Um, surprised we got up to honest. We were kept awake last night by uh, some uh, noise that was coming from downstairs, like a band or something all night. Um, I'll pick up at five. Um, so let's do this. <laughs> Just off for breakfast. Now time to get back on the coach. Um, going to go off to the start point. So we'll see you there. This is where we're going to start the walk. Um, time to sort out our bags, sort our boots, and then uh, we're going to get going. Um, it's turned out to be a really nice day so far. We've been up for roughly five hours already. Uh, had a two hour trip, but uh, currently still all the stuff right here. All the bags, getting all of our duffel bags going. Um, got all of our kit ready, sun cream on, and uh, yeah, we're ready for, uh, for day one. So far, so good on the trip. Uh, clouds come over, so uh, perfect walking weather. Um, steady pace on us. Been uh, learning stuff about the cactus, about how some of the fruits on there they eat, and uh, you can eat more than five, and uh, can help with uh, your digestion and your constipation and stuff. So that's really good. Um, he's also said that the porters usually get to the campsites one to two hours before we do. I can't, I can't look at these. Yeah. Well. And look at, and this cochinail or cochinilla that we call nowadays were uh, really useful long time ago at the Inca's time. Oh. Yeah, they were using this one to dye the cotton or change the color of wool or something like that, using the blood, actually the blood of this uh, insect. Look at. Oh. Yeah. That one. Wow. Yeah, that's called cochinilla or cochinail. Alright, so currently walking up. A little bit of a steep incline at the moment. Good little workout. Going a little bit out of breath as we go up. But uh, so far, so good. So we've just stopped off on our route here on the Inca Trail. Come across some Inca, Inca lookout house here. And uh, you can see from the architecture about how. They used to get big rocks and have to fit them with all the mortar. Check out the uh, check out the view over here. All right, update. We're about 20, 25 minutes away from lunch. The altitude really does kick in when you uh, start exerting yourself at these sorts of heights, and I would. Uh, I'd first I'd say to anybody that thinks it's a doddle or thinks it's easy or whatever, give it a go. Because it's nothing like you might think it is. Well, uh, currently heading out, out of lunch and we uh, had a lot more than we expected. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Probably got another, another two hour walk after our five hour walk earlier. And then we'll be at our campsite for the night. And then dinner, but I don't think any of us are ready for dinner yet. So that's where we've come from. After lunch. This is our uh, home for the night. With this as a backdrop. Not that GoPro though. <laughs> <laughs> foods on the foods on the stove. Tents going tents going up. Day one completed. We'll be eating in here tonight. We'll be sleeping in there tonight. And tomorrow's challenge lies 
just of that. Let me uh, introduce these people. Yeah, our team who is gonna help us to make this Inca Trail. So it's uh, probably about 8 o'clock tonight. Um, we're about to get some shut eye. Uh, long day tomorrow, really long day. Lots of uphill climbs and uh, probably roughly about 20 kilometers of walk. So yeah, get some kip. I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, good morning. It's, uh, it's currently half five in the morning. Just been woken up. Um, We've just had some cooked tea. We've got breakfast in a minute, um, and then we'll be uh, off on day two. You can uh, you can hear the birds oh, yeah. in the background. So yeah, day two. That's where we're going today. Um, that's the target. It should take take about eight, nine hours to get there. But yeah, that is our next goal, and then we go back down, have lunch, go back up, come back down again, and that's the day. All right, it's currently uh, three minutes to seven. We'll say seven, and we uh, start our hike on the second day. Oh, good morning, Peru. So far, so good. Still on the climb. Put it this way, it's a, it's a jungle out here. Halfway point, uh, just stopped off for a nice long rest. Um, halfway that is to uh, the top of the mountain rather than halfway being halfway of the day or halfway of the expedition. Update just had our stop, continues to go up. We got about an hour and a half to get to the top peak, come down, we have our lunch stop. Um, it is a uh, it is hot. You see where we've come from? Right, what we're down there. These are uh, these steps. Absolute killer. <laughs> we did it! We did it. We got, we got to the top. I don't know where everybody else is though. They're still down there somewhere. Yeah, we got there first. We'll wait for everybody else. Highest point of the trail, right here. Highest point we've ever hiked in our lives. Gets easier from here now, doesn't it, mate? <laughs> Put the extra layer on. Been nippy at the top. Okay, so it's now currently uh, just gone one o'clock. Still on the way down from the first peak. Probably got about 20, 25 minutes until we get down to the bottom of the valley, which is where our lunch will be. I tell you what, I am starving. All right, about to leave lunch. Just had a pretty big meal in here. I've already uh, started taking down everything. And now we're off up the next one. Yeah, had loads of food, really nice. 
Adios. Yeah. Probably for uh, four more hours, three hours up, another hour down back to camp. It's in total 11 hours walking. It's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, so pretty much nearly at the top now of the uh, second, the pass. second, second pass. What's the time done now? So time is 3:55. We left camp this morning at seven o'clock. So, doing the math, I'll put it. I'll put it here. That's how long we've been walking for. Just made it to the top of the second pass. Got about an hour and a half, two hours to go. Yeah, for the record, never ever run up 100 flights of stairs at 4,000 feet above, uh, above altitude because I just spent the last three, four minutes just lying on the floor trying to actually get my breath back and as you can tell now I still haven't got all my breath back but yeah, this ain't bad for a view. Yeah, as you can see, we finally made it to camp. Um, yeah, it's pretty dark out right now, but uh, we made it. The current time is five to six. Mainly just for our celebration. <laughs> it's a special. Special, <laughs> special people. Hey! Oh, that's a payotro. All right, so it's about eight o'clock. Um, we just had a, a, an amazing dinner. Um, got back into our tents now. Um, going to get some shut eye because I am knackered. Okay, so it's currently half five in the morning, day three. Um, didn't sleep much last night, but it's loud, loads of birds. But yeah, breakfast in about half an hour. Time to pack up, get moving. So, yeah, day three. <laughs> There's the toilet, but it's cold. Look at the lips. Dry, really dry lips. The sun will be rising over this mountain at 8 o'clock, but I really wanted to get a time lapse of it. But uh, unfortunately, we'll be, we'll be long gone by then, so that sucks. But for now, you guys can just have a look at this. <laughs> So day one, day one, day, <laughs> day three. Day three uh, is one well truly in effect. We'll uh, first go over the third peak of the trail. And then uh, once we've completed that, we go, we can do a Peruvian flat, which is up and down till we get to our Third and final campsite, which will be where we eat lunch and dinner, and then we go and explore some of the ruins in the afternoon. Ah, So yeah, we have to move out of the way for the port, as you see, because they go way too fast for us. <laughs> Just bumped into the llamas on the on the track. <laughs> Look at these guys. 
Yeah. Well, they, call it, they call it a llama jam or something like that when everyone comes up to the llamas and takes us a photos with them. <laughs> Hilarious. I got mine though, I'll put it here. Just past the third peak. Um, we've uh, just seen a guy with a bucket running down here with like string over his shoulders. Uh, and he's just filling up his bucket down here. And uh, <laughs> what we've just come down is really steep. So good luck to him going back up there. Just got into another, another site where they, uh, we're about to go up and, uh, and explore. Uh, here's, the, here's, the, uh, here's the guy going up with the, with the, with the water. <laughs> Unbelievable. So we're almost at the final Inca ruins before we go back down to where we will be having lunch and also where we'll be sleeping tonight. And a uh, little side note that I haven't let you guys know much about because, uh, I don't know, I didn't really want to talk about it, but I'll talk about it now. Uh, I got a, got a little bit of a mosquito bite on my on my heel yesterday. Um, it's been giving me a little bit of jip over the last, over today. Uh, so yeah, any upward incline is, is hurting and now we've done so much down today it's almost had a, the reverse effect so so yeah, in a little bit of pain but apart from that, we're doing alright Alright, so we've just made it to the ruins you can see some of them behind me and uh, a lot of them are down in the valley you can see the river meandering down through the valley and uh, Just finished, getting into camp now. Oh, I think we made it. I think we've done it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Right, so we've uh, we just finished lunch. Uh, we're now going to go on a little, a little five, ten minute walk to uh, another set of Inca remains, uh, and then that will be us done for the day. But uh, this is where our tents are situated, as you can see. Yeah. We don't want to go walkies in the middle of the night, that's for sure. That's definitely for sure. Just got to the uh, lunchtime uh, destination of the, another Inca ruins, but uh, this one really is incredible. Some of these uh, views are absolutely stunning. So glad that we uh, didn't just stay at the campsite the whole, the whole afternoon. We've actually come and explored a little bit more of the actual uh, the ruins of the Incas but this one is really good. Obviously, Machu Picchu tomorrow is gonna to top, top it off, but this is something else. for uh, Jennifer's birthday, who was our counterpart in our, uh, in our trip. Um, couldn't thank the porters enough for all the hard work that they've done and the heavy carrying that they've done. And from all the walking that we've done today, like, the work and effort that they put in has been unbelievable. Um, so we've just finished dinner. It's now eight o'clock, we're off to bed now. Um, 
we're up at just before three um, for tomorrow because tomorrow is the day we're going to Machu Picchu. Okay, so it is currently a, uh, currently quarter to, quarter to three in the morning. I slept a little bit last night, but uh, God, yeah. Time to get up now and uh, hike to the checkpoint, which, which will then wait two hours there. Um, and then we'll be able to go through and start walking towards the sun gate. So it's an hour towards the sun gate, and then we'll be an hour to Machu Picchu. But yeah, I'm tired, as you can tell. I didn't really sleep well. <sighs> Let's go. All right, so it's now uh, just gone three. We're up and ready to go. We're about to leave uh, leave the camps right now. Um, all things go well. We in front of the queue. Because uh, when we get to the checkpoint, we have to queue up then for two hours, and the people who are there first get to uh, get to Machu Picchu first. So, all right, so the gate's just opened. It's now half five, and uh, yeah, look, you can see everybody, everybody ready to go through, and uh, everyone's queued up behind us as well. It's half five, and we're about to walk to Machu Picchu. Still currently walking on the trail to get us to the Sun Gate. Which then leads to Master Picture. You can see the sky behind me. It's uh, starting to get a little bit brighter now. Still need our torches. But uh, the sound of the wildlife around here absolutely, absolutely incredible. You wouldn't get it anywhere else. We're literally right out in the wilderness. Okay, so we're probably just over halfway to the Sun Gate, as you can see. It's light. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing a, a t shirt at 20 past six in the morning. Alright, so we're going on our way. Just coming up to Sungate now. So apparently, when we get here, we should be able to, be, be able to see Master Picchu. So I believe this is the Sungate that we're going to. You ready? Whilst we're walking, I just wanted to show you. So that right there, that's Juana Pitches. So that's what we're climbing after. And we'll see Machu Pitches down here. So we'll go to Machu Picchu first. We're going to come back out, and then we climb up there. All right, you're dead. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. He's good. So currently still on the walk down to uh, to Machu Picchu. Views just keep getting better and better and better. Start to just up there to see some uh, little Inca remains where they do uh, holy Sacrifice. sacrifices that's what I was looking for, cheers dad um, for a lot of the locals who and then come down from up top from the sun gate all the way down into Machu Picchu okay guys so we just got here now uh, I'm going to hold you in suspense just for a little bit longer while we, uh, while we just go down a little bit more check this out Oh my god. Um, for rules and regs, we have to basically leave and then re-enter to register the Retchley on the on the site, on the archaeological site. Uh, it's probably for their books, and so they can register how many people are uh, coming in and coming out, and how many to 
tourists and visitors they have per day. So yeah, doing that now, we're gonna grab a bite to eat and then we'll be coming back in um, and exploring the ruins. Thank you, George. Perfect, thank you very much. Majority of our tour from Machu Picchu. We're about to go and do Rana Picchu now. This is the way to go up there. <coughs> about an hour climb to the top, uh, and apparently the view over Machu Picchu is insane. So only uh, 400 people a day get to do this trip. So uh, we're one of those, us three, one of those lucky 400 people that gets to climb Machu Picchu today. See, so yeah, that's the next challenge. But Machu Picchu, wow. So beautiful. Worth the, uh, the four and a half day expedition. And uh, up next, Machu Picchu. All right, so currently going at Machu Picchu. But uh, it's literally step after step after step. And uh, after my heel problems yesterday, being bitten, Got a few other hurts today, so we'll power on through. Okay, so midway, climbing up using hands and feet. I'll just show you the drop. Yeah, it's uh, it's fairly steep. I don't know if it's a top or not yet, but no, it's not the top. I'll see you guys at the top. All right, so we got to the top. They said the average time is 45 to 90 minutes. So we went from bottom to top in 34, and I'm dead. There's Matt picture in the in the background. Um, yeah, harder than it, harder than you think. A little add-on to the to the trip. Yeah, Inca done. Juana done. Matt picture done. Well, Matt picture. It's been a pleasure. It's time to say goodbye. And now on our way out to the exit to get a bus. And then we are done. We just stopped off at a little uh, ice cream bar. As you can tell, I'm pretty red in my face because uh, I caught the sun a little bit today. But stopped off at ice cream bar. I haven't had it in a couple of weeks, so I thought, why not? We'll just treat ourselves to a little bit of ice cream. So uh, we're about to get on the train. Last little uh, little journey now before uh, before we get back to Cusco. Well, I say last little journey. We've got uh, get on the train, then we got a little bus, then to Cusco. So yeah, this is the uh, the last stop before we go. Just got back to the uh, the hotel after a grueling two hour. A journey back in a, a car crammed my legs. Uh, so yeah, been up now since half two. It is currently now 10:25. So yeah, I've been up a while. It's over. My picture is done, but it wouldn't have happened without a lot of things. Like 
the porters, the guide, the chefs, um, obviously my brother, my dad, and Jennifer, who we didn't know before coming here to Peru. So yeah, phenomenal experience. Um, a lot harder than I anticipated it to be, especially because of the altitude. Um, that's one thing that I underestimated a lot. I thought that we would cope a lot better, but when you're doing a lot of climbing, and especially a lot of steps, um, it becomes a big thing. But yeah, I am knackered. Uh, I'm going to bed. Um, this was my uh, Peru Machu Picchu first vlog, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it.